So this is one of my favourite things in Pascal's triangle, and it's about the uh, middle numbers of the even rows of Pascal's triangle. It turns out these numbers have absolutely enormous numbers uh, of applications. I mean, so many so that someone here has even written a book about these numbers. Well, technically, the Catalan numbers are these numbers divided by m plus 1, but very closely related. And I'm going to show you in this uh, video that when you sum the squares of the entries uh, in any row of Pascal's triangle, you get one of these uh, almost Catalan numbers. And I'm going to prove this to you with a really uh, simple, just a few lines of proof that uses A-level maths, um, and so I hope you enjoy it. Please do like the video and subscribe to the channel, and uh, share it around if you've enjoyed it, and uh, let me show you this proof. So if you look at each row of Pascal's triangle, uh, square the entries and sum them up, something quite interesting happens. Right, in the first row I get just 1 squared is 1, and I'm just going to circle this 1. Then 1 squared plus 1 squared is 2. Ah, look, I've got 2 here. 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 1 squared, that's the sum of this row squared, that's 6. And then 1 squared plus 3 squared plus 3 squared plus 1 squared is 20. So summing the squares of this row gives us this entry here. So it looks like I keep getting these central entries in the 2 nth row of uh, Pascal's triangle. Right? Remember, we start by calling the first row row 0 here. And so these are the even rows of Pascal's triangle. And they're the central elements. So actually, these would correspond in the combinatorial notation to the numbers 2n choose n. Right? I'm using uh, this notation, but 2n choose n. Sometimes that's also written as 2n n in a column like this. Right? So what I'm saying here is that I'm hypothesizing that this number here is just the sum of the squares of the of the nth uh, row of Pascal's triangle, right? So n choose 0 squared plus n choose 1 squared all the way up to n choose n squared. Now, um, I was thinking about this earlier and I came up with a really simple proof of this that I think you'll like. Uh, actually, there must be a lot of ways to prove this because these numbers are actually quite famous in maths. Uh, if you do 1 over n times 2n choose n, uh, these are known as the Catalan numbers. right? So the numbers we're getting here are very closely um, related uh, to these uh, Catalan numbers. Now, the way I'm going to prove it is as follows. I'm going to expand, or think about the expansion, of 1 plus x to the power of n. Right? Now, you know, you know when you do binomial expansions, we, uh, well, hopefully you know how to do those. If I do uh, a plus b to the n, you know, I just get, you know, uh, you know n choose 0, a to the n, b to the 0, etc., plus n choose 1, a to the n minus 1, b to the 1, etc. Right? So here, the b is, uh, the a and the b are x and 1, so actually the uh, the 1s are not going to appear in here, and all of the coefficients of x are just going to be the binomial coefficients themselves. Okay, So this expansion is just going to be uh, n choose 0, and then plus n choose 1 times x, plus n choose 2 times x squared, all the way up to n choose n times x to the n. Right? Now, what I want to do is to uh, consider this squared. Okay, so I'm going to square this whole uh, expansion, right? And that would give me 1 plus x to the 2n here, right? Now, I don't want to multiply out this whole expansion, but uh, this 1 plus x to the 2n now relates to the 2nth row of Pascal's triangle. And the entry we're looking for is the middle one, right? The uh, uh, the nth one, right? So actually, the uh, number 2n choose n is going to be the coefficient of x to the n in this expansion, okay? So, um, so effectively what I'm going to do here is say, right, uh, let's let me just write this as 1 plus x to the 2n. Right? And now we're going to say, what's the x to the n coefficient of each side of this, of this identity? Right? So the x to the n coefficient of 1 plus x to the 2n, 
as we've just said, is just 2n, choose n. And the x to the n coefficient on the right-hand side here, well, if you imagine multiplying this whole expression by itself, I will get an x to the n term when I multiply the uh, constant term by the x to the n term, and that will be n choose 0 times n choose n. I'll get one from multiplying the x term by the x to the n minus 1 term, right? So I'll have n choose 1 times n choose n minus 1, right? And I'm going to keep going here until I uh, get to the end, so eventually I'll get to one that's n choose n minus 1, and then uh, times n choose 1, and finally I'll have n choose n times n choose 0, okay? Right? So this would be the coefficient of x to the n if you multiplied all of this out. So it must be equal to the coefficient of x to the n on the left-hand side. Right? So we've almost got the proof here because if you look at these terms on the right-hand side, well, there's symmetry in Pascal's triangle, right? So, you know, n choose 0 is equal to n choose n. n choose 1 is equal to n choose n minus 1, etc. Right? So actually, I can write this uh, on the right-hand side as just n choose 0 squared plus n choose 1 squared all the way up to n choose n squared, and there we go. What a brilliantly simple proof uh, of that result.